Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's exciting because it's the middle of summer, late summer, and we're doing some deer hunting prep. It's kind of crazy to be thinking about it already, but deer hunting is coming up and it's coming up quick. So today you can kind of see around me. This is last year's food plot. I've torn it up a little bit over here. We had a tree that fell down and so I had to take care of that and remove that tree and it is gone. The goal of today is to get this area prepped, ready, seeded, fertilized, and ready for some giant bucks. I'm super excited. We've had some awesome deer come through here in the past. I have not shot a deer out of this woods exactly, but I think getting a very good food plot here will keep bringing these deer over. They will keep bringing them onto our property and uh, hopefully stay in throughout the rut and uh, just some of the later deer season. So if we can get them a food source, it's super important. So today, I've got the tractor out. We're gonna be doing some tilling and hopefully get this area really, really cleaned up and ready for the food plot. Uh, what I'm gonna be throwing down today is just a little bit of, it's just like Rule King special stuff. I think you can get it anywhere. I've got a little throw and grow, pretty excited about that discount. I always buy it last year, just put it in a, a dark place and kind of forget about it until the next year, but we're gonna be cleaning up this area. So I think we're gonna start over there. We're gonna get a spot all the way out. You can see there's cornfield there. And in the cornfield, we're gonna start at the cornfield. That way, if there's anything in the field, they can see it. We're gonna come through here, right through here clean all this out clean some of that out and just have maybe a quarter acre half acre of food plot in here just something so that when they're in here in the winter they've got a good place that they can bed down and there's a little bit of food here too for them so let's uh start cleaning this area up hope you guys enjoy this thing is definitely key we're just on the edge of an area that's too large to not have a spreader and use a hand spreader, but yeah. By the way, it only takes one of these bags, but I always seem to overkill it and I'll do multiple just so that this area for sure has good growth. And a couple rakes to kind of get that seed to go down in into that tilled dirt. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm rushing today. However, we've had tons and tons of rain. So I think now is a good time to do it. The soil is still pretty moist. We can get the seed in there and then hopefully have good luck getting it, you know, to germinate and really take off. Usually I'll have to water, 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 but with the amount of rain we've been getting, I'm hoping I don't have to do that this year, at least not for a little bit. Let's start tilling. We're all the way at the edge of the field. I'm gonna back up as far as I can. Then we're gonna give this thing some juice. We're gonna rev it up to about 2,500 RPM. VTO's on. Let's check out what she's doing so far. I think it's doing pretty good. We're going about two inches deep, which is probably a bit overkill, but oh yeah, maybe even a one inch in some spots. It's pretty fluffy, so it's gonna dry out kind of quick, so you just have to keep an eye on it with moisture. Moisture can kind of be a big deal early on. Um, if it's too dry, it won't kind of grow. It'll stunt the growth a little bit. But I think this is gonna be good. Uh, once we put the seed down, we always have the option to come back with a roller or something and compact it a little bit, but I think it's doing fine so far. I'm gonna pick up some of these bigger sticks so I don't run over them with the tiller. Pretty good stuff. Side note, put some apple trees in here a couple years ago. They're starting to get a little larger. They look great. This is, uh, this is going to be like a food hub for my deer. I really want the deer around here to have lots of options for food and you know, places to bed down too. So 
we're trying to make this super thick and lots of food for them and there's a ditch nearby so there's plenty of water too good water sources let's get back to tilling y'all look at that now look how light and fluffy that is again it might dry out but we'll just keep an eye on it and we'll water as needed but now we're going to start seeding i need to grab the seeder before i get too far and it's not it's not that the food plot has to be perfect really nothing of this none of this does but just get a good coverage uh, try to get seed everywhere and it's got some time. I like to plant, you know, the bag says August. It's the end of July right now. I'm probably two weeks early. So that's the only reason I'm worried about it drying out. But the reason I like to plant a couple weeks early is because I've had it planted, you know, in August. I think it's just a little bit short. They're trying to get it to last the entire duration of deer season. I want it to be peaked out during the rut. I'm not trying to get super late game um, just into the season deer. I just want to get deer um, through rifle season, maybe a touch after, maybe into muzzleloader, but not like super late season, like into December. So if I can get deer through the beginning of December, perfect. End of December, not really necessary. So we're going to start throwing some seed down and see how far it goes. I've got three bags. Each one says like a quarter acre or something. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I guess before I get too far, I should tell you a little bit more about this. It looks like it's got clover, brassicas, and rye grass in it. It's pretty good stuff. It's throw and grow. I've used it before. Um, it's a little more basic than some of the other ones. If you really want, you could throw some radishes in here, some turnips or something, but I'm just trying to get some sort of plant in here that these deer are gonna have for later in the year. If you're struggling with it, you can always pull it. I think pushing it's working a little better than I thought. So switch to pushing. Almost finished up. Decided to go with the third bag just because I want full ground coverage. I'm trying to get all the way to the edge. And this should help for sure. Let me know if you guys would care to see an update video in a couple months to see how the food plot's doing. Okay. Seed has been laid, holy smokes. I didn't realize how small the gap was that the, you know, the seeds were going through until about three rounds. Then I was like, I'm really wasting my time. So I opened it up a lot, finally got it done. Next, we're going to do fertilizer. And fertilizer is really important just because you want to give it a jump start. So that's what we're doing. We're just putting a little 12, 12, 12 down, triple 12. And uh, let's do that now. I am really sweaty, so don't mind that. But holy cow, it's warm to death. All right, we're rolling. Got the old 12, 12, 12 on here. Hopefully going to do one pass. Got the, the gate opened up pretty good, so one should be plenty. We'll see what happens, though. The throw and grow stuff for the deer food plots is super easy to grow, so fertilizer probably not completely necessary. I like to use it because it gives it a good jump start. The sun is just about to go down. The last thing we have to do, in case I run out of daylight, is take a rake and just comb over everything. You can see all the white behind it. 
I'm doing it one-handed so it kind of looks bad. Just follow behind everywhere you've gone, rake it just a little bit, try to get some of that seed down, some of the dirt on top, and then in a very short time you will have an incredible food plot. We're going to rake it now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. A lot of fun to make. Super excited to see some awesome deer, especially ones like this on the trail cam next year. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace, y'all.